I love his suit. No, thank you. I take it back. Like my man. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that was the most out of pocket thing I've ever heard in a movie. G'day marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. Today we are going to be watching Airplane. I'm very excited for this, it's an 80s film. All I know about this movie is that it probably takes place on an airplane. <laughs> we'll see, maybe there's an airport involved. I'm fairly sure that the humor in this is probably going to be unhinged since it's a comedy and it's made in the 80s. So I'm very, very excited. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Why does that sound like Jaws? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Gosh, this is the Jaws theme. <laughs> I'm yet to see Jaws actually, but obviously the soundtrack's so popular. Okay. That's when you know it's gonna be a comedy, is when the airplane's acting like a shark. <laughs> the white zone is for immediate loading. I'm assuming those women are probably going to be on the flight in this movie since we're focusing so much on it. Religious Consciousness Church, would you care to make a donation? No, but thank you anyway. Why do you seem so disappointed? How many people say yes? And which zone is for moaning? Don't start off with your white zone shit again. <laughs> Did you just hear the, the speakers? Would you put all your metal objects into this dish, please? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You want me to have an abortion? It's really the only sensible thing to do if it's done properly. There's no danger involved. Oh my god. This conversation taking place on the speakers. I'll be back in a minute. Wow. Water. Oh, uh, what? What's going on in this airport, man? It's chaotic. Elaine. Yes. Elaine, I've got to talk to you. I just don't want to go over it anymore. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. It takes so many things to make love last. Most of all, it takes respect. And I can't live with a man I don't respect. <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> what a pisser. <laughs> Wait, wait, he just broke the fourth wall. Oh my goodness. This is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight in Lisa Davis, en route to Minneapolis. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. We'd like you to tell her mother that we found a donor an hour ago. I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position. <laughs> what? can What's happening? I don't know what's going on in this movie. I can change. Then why didn't you take the job that Louis Nets offered you at Boeing? You know, I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. What's hurt you the most is your record since the war. And not one of them shows you can accept any real responsibility. Damn. I'm going to start my life all over again. I'm sorry. Good for her. I don't know this guy, but... Excuse me, we'd like you to have this flower from the Church of Religious Consciousness. Ooh. I mean, that's what happens when you do it at the wrong time, right? Uh, storm lifting over Salt Lake, Clarence? <laughs> no, hey, buddy. What? Top out. Well, there's some lighting around your team. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Victor, this is Roger Murdoch, Victor Basta. How do you do, Roger? Nice to meet you. Can you tell me if Elaine Dickinson is on this flight? Goodness me, is this guy gonna chase her onto the plane? I'd like one ticket to Chicago. Gee, it's very uh stalkerish, right? Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Yeah. Have a nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's so dumb. Spiker, this is Red Leader Four. Decision is yours. This guy got PTSD. And hunk him up and mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down. <laughs> See a bra to get that booty act him. <laughs> Lay her down and smack him, yak him. Cold got to be. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the put on your seatbelts? Oh my gosh. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how simple it is, but oh, it's so effective, the humor. Oh my baby, this is so exciting. I know, but remember, you must get some rent. Oh God, Bill, I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. It, it changes so quickly, the tone. Better get on board, son. All aboard! 
all aboard. Like he's jumping on a train to go off to war. Goodbye, darling. I love you, darling. Here we go. Goodbye, darling. Yeah, the door's still open. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Girl, <laughs> what is happening? Roger. Huh? LA departure frequency one two three. Over. Roger. Huh? Roger, over. <laughs> oh my gosh. The humor in this is so simple and kind of like dumb humor, but like it just works so well so far. Our arrival time in Chicago will be 10 <laughs> Temperature there is currently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Elaine, I've got to talk to you. you. You shouldn't have come. I don't have time now. Dude, she's working. <laughs> she's lovely. Darling figure. Supple, pouting breath, firm thighs. Things used to be different. I remember when we first met. It was during the war. <laughs> she couldn't care less. I used to hang out at the Magumbo Bar. It was a rough place. Oh my gosh. Could count on a fight breaking out almost every night. <laughs> oh, Girl Scouts? Are you serious? Wait, what? What are they doing in the bar? Oh my gosh. That's so violent, man. The fact that's two Girl Scouts out of everybody there. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> I'm so confused, man. Like, what is happening? <laughs> oh my gosh fate was on his side that's so horrible <laughs> wait what he had that on underneath <laughs> this feels like a fever dream this scene it's so strange wait wait what <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, that's me too. The guy was just like. Did <laughs> you see the strings? I love that. <laughs> this scene is so strange, man. <laughs> the Girl Scouts are still fighting. Enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. She's asleep. 100. It's just that whenever I start to talk about. Oh! No! No! She hugged herself. Can I see the carpet, Dad? I'll tell you what, Joey. I'll talk to the captain and see what I can arrange. Oh, the drinks. I run the job. This is so bad, man. The subtitles. Put on some butter and dragging through the garden. Excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you might like some coffee. That's so cute. Oh, they're adorable. I love your suit. Queen? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? That was the most out of pocket thing I've ever heard in a movie. <laughs> That's dramatic. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's gross, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I never knew I could be so happy. My orders came through. I worry about you so much. I love you, Elaine. I love you. <laughs> the dead fish next to them. <laughs> Far out, man. This movie's so strange. Please climb to 42,000 feet. Hello. Hi. This is Captain Over, Mr. Murdoch, and Mr. Boston. This is Joey Hammond. Joey, we have something here for our special visitors. Thank you. That's nice. Been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? What? Wait, what? You ever hang around the gymnasium? We better get back now, Joey. The Joey can stay here for a while if you'd like. Ew, what? You like movies about gladiators? What? <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. I know These things two. haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. Stop saying the same thing over and over. All I have I remember how you used to hold me. How I used to sit on your face. 
the sun came up. Not as long as you would insist on living in the past. Tone of this movie changes so frequently, it's so odd. Cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid, isn't that good? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Six men didn't return from that raid. Seven, Lieutenant Zip died this morning. Oh gee. Nobody expects you to get over this immediately. Hey Striker, <laughs> I'm getting tired. Take five. Wait, that was a po <laughs> has a great fireplace and a Captain Jalen. He thinks he's a pilot, still fighting the war. I found the tunnel, Johnson! It's this way! Oh my gosh. Severe shell shock. Thinks he's Ethel Merman. You'll be swell! You'll be great! Oh my goodness. I don't know how I feel about them making fun of cases of PTSD, man. It's funny because they're towing the line so much. Would either of you like another cup of coffee? I will, but Jim won't. I think I will have another cup of coffee. Oh my gosh. She never has a second cup of coffee at home. <laughs> it's because she's serving it? Is that what she's thinking? There's a little girl on board up front who's ill and... Oh, what? yes, I saw. Could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Is it electric? Oh, okay. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Oh, oh my... Oh, oh. oh. oh Hi, boy. Here we go. Oh, you have a guitar. This is one of my favorites. Travel the banks of the river of Jordan. <laughs> I looked in me and I saw that I was What the hell? And what it all means in the end. Silence, I listened to voices inside <laughs> and they told me an end again. <laughs> Looks at us. River, oh no! <laughs> No! No! Face, she's pulling too! Oh my gosh. This girl, man. Why is she pulling the fish face? What the hell, man? This movie's just baffling, man. How's the weather? Not so good. We got some heavy stuff ahead of us. Yeah, after the war, just wanted to get it. No! <laughs> Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. This is awful. Related <laughs> tribe, the Malumbos. It was really a challenge during the year introducing them to our Western culture. They didn't know what to uh -huh. think of us, but soon we gained their trust. This guy, man. And these people had been completely isolated from civilization, and they had no athletic equipment. I started them on simple calisthenics and gradually worked them up to rudimentary game skills, advanced competitive theory. I was patient with them, and they were eager to learn. <laughs> it was probably due to the advanced American teaching techniques that we were able to bridge the- Oh my gosh, man. It's time for us to go back home to the plans we made before the war. A lot of people made plans before the war. <laughs> like George Zip. It was at that moment that I first realized Elaine had doubts about our relationship. <laughs> Dude. It almost led to my drinking problem. It's not your- <laughs> We did come back. Go on for hours, but I'd probably start to bore you. I really could no, he's not going to commit. Oh, he did. <sighs> this movie, man. Oh, it's my stomach. <sighs> Find out if there's a doctor on board as quietly as you can. Have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? What is wrong with this guy, man? <laughs> <laughs> Jim never vomits at home. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers. They're very sick. Could you come take a look at them? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Wh what? Why are eggs coming out of their mouth? Oh my gosh. You better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Oh. It's a big building with patients. Oh my gosh. 
Roger, take over. What just happened? Did he just die? Yeah, this guy's nervous now. He's got to fly through the sketchy weather by himself now. How soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. <laughs> Not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? Oh. <laughs> Straight into his face. What the hell? What's happening? What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. <laughs> there are two more sick people and the rest of the passengers are worried. Find out what the two sick people had for dinner. Oh, stewardess, my husband's very sick. Can you do something, please? Do you know what he had for dinner? Yes, of course, we both had fish. It's nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs> Mr. Hammond ate fish and Randy said there are five more cases. They all had fish too. Every passenger on this plane will had fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. How serious is it? Never have fish on a plane. <laughs> Starts with the slight fever, dryness of the throat. From there, the poison goes to work on the spasms. Oh my gosh. Old ruling. What? At this point, <laughs> the entire digestive system collapses. Uncontrollable flatulence. Covering wasted piece of jelly. Oh my gosh, man. This movie's awful. <laughs> it's a good movie, but it's awful. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, man. I'll go back to the passengers. <laughs> the jokes in this is so dumb. You can't help but laugh. <laughs> Tell all dispatchers to remain at the post. It's gonna be a long night. How about some coffee, Johnny? No thanks. <laughs> Upstairs to the tower and get a runway diagram. Terry, check down the field for emergency equipment. Oh my gosh. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. The best available man in this. A man who knows that plane inside and out. How about Mr. Rogers? <laughs> Get me Rex Kramer. 35,000 feet. No, wait, 30... Oh no, the automatic pilot is deflating. It's dropping fast. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Is the manual inflation nozzle blow on. This is so stupid. What the hell's going on up there? Wait, what's this guy do? Wait, wait, who is he performing a? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this movie, man. Can you face some unpleasant facts? No. All right. Is there anyone on board who can land this plane? Oh, no, this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stewardess speaking. There's no reason to become alarmed. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> here to pick up Captain Kramer. Oh, yes. Come in, Paul. <laughs> Oh, doggy. I'm in. What the hell, man? Oh, cheats and liars. All right, let's get out of here. How did they perform that scene? I guess he's just playing with the dog in real life, right? They built those roads. They had no thought of drainage in mind. So we had to oh take my... a special... Dude. <laughs> the way they just keep killing characters that he talks to. There's been a little problem in the cockpit. The you know? cockpit? What is it? A little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit. That's not important right now. Do you know anything about planes? Would you go up, please? This guy's like, should I kill myself or not? <laughs> Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Striker, I know nothing about flying. There's one thing I do know. You're the only one on this plane who can possibly fly it. We're the only chance we've got. Oh man, this poor guy. 
pre-landing flight check. Tell him I'm in the dispatch office and I want to hear facts. It's your wife. I want the kids in bed by nine. I want the dog fed, the yard watered, and the gate locked. And get a note to the milkman. No more cheese. <laughs> Where the hell is Kramer? Didn't even listen to her once. Ah, the photo behind him. <laughs> There's a joke every, like, ten seconds in this movie. Keep my 24,000. One of the passengers is going to land that plane. I know this guy. You do? Who is it? That striker was a crack flight leader up for point. It's one of those men who... <laughs> the driving, the screen in the, in the back. He's going so fast. This is one particular mission. This movie! I'm so confused, man. Speed 520 knots. Course zero, nine or zero. Wash, soak, rinse, spin. <laughs> like a washing machine. Everyone on this plane is in a desperate situation. <laughs> Mr. Stryker is the only hope we've got. He's so dramatic every time. This must turn on the landing lights. <laughs> Why'd he do that? <laughs> Go, oh my gosh. Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, what the hell is that for? Mayday? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a big parade and we'll serve hot or dirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Get a hold of yourself. Please, let me handle it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Calm down, oh my gosh, seat. man. Gee. Oh, this poor oh woman, God. man. Oh, <laughs> just so. Gee, man. No! Excuse me, sir, would you... <laughs> Juice <for> Jesus. <laughs> this mission to get to the plane. No no passengers now. Wow. I know, but this guy doing the flying has no airline experience at all. He's a menace to himself and everything else in the air. Yes, birds too. <laughs> birds too. <laughs> All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. <laughs> the sunnies he's got on. <laughs> you know, I blew this man Stryker during the war. Let me tell you something, Steve. That Stryker was a top. You'll have to talk him onto the approach. So help me, you'll have to talk him right down to the ground. What is happening, man? Stryker, this is Captain Rex Kramer speaking. Yes, Captain Kramer. It's obvious you remember me. So what do you say you and I just forget about everything except what we have to do now? You know I've never flown a bucket like this. So I'm gonna need all the luck there is. Buying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. <laughs> sure. It's a lot harder to put baseball cards in the spokes. <laughs> I feel like so many people in this movie are just dying left and right from just little accidents like that. Just remember the controls are still very heavy compared to a fighter. This <laughs> is the way the automatic pilot floated over. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh my gosh. The, oh. <laughs> Why is it holding her like that? <laughs> it's like it's sentient. There's no reason to panic. Now it is true that one of the crew members What is happened Ill. to his nose? Slightly Ill. Oh, Pinocchio. The other two pilots are just fine. They're at the controls flying the plane. How's it handling? It's sluggish. Like a wet sponge. Sluggish, like a wet sponge. It's a damn good thing he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. It's a damn good thing you don't know how much- Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> this girl, man. It's your mofo, but a limb into the bone. Jack, wake up. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I speak jive. Oh, here we go. He's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. Be back as soon as I can with some medicine. Here we go, man. Just hang loose blood. She gonna catch up on the rebound on the meds. My mama raised no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jeff. You say this is so busy. Chomp don't wanna help. Chomp don't get the help. Sick job. Ass dude don't got no brains in there. Gee, man. <laughs> oh, normally I would talk about the characters and stuff, but there's just so much chaos going on every second of this movie. Answer the phone. The horse. What the heck? Why is there a horse in her bed? I've got to go to the airport. You can let yourself out the back door. There's juice in the refrigerator. She cheated on her husband with a horse. I got no words for this movie. Got to concentrate. Concentrate. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Echo. Echo. This guy's just mental health is so messed up. He's so distracted, man. Turn on some air. <laughs> These jokes, man. Gunnison, check the radar range. Anything yet? It's about two more minutes, Chief. My gosh, man. <laughs> These jokes. Particularly miles, of course. That's impossible. They're on instruments. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you every three seconds. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. This guy, how many, how many things is this guy trying to quit? How much longer can those passengers hold out? Uh, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. We're flying the plane. Passengers. But he's an experienced Air Force pilot. The ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. This boat just handed to me. News no jik kan des. Uda hatsu ga Jeez, man. <laughs> knew what they were getting into here we go I say let them crash <laughs> oh my gosh bro it's funny there's always one counterpoint isn't there like that would you like a little whiskey man certainly not okay oh <laughs> why was she looking at him funny then <laughs> i won't deceive you mr striker we're running out of time Surely there must be something you can do. I am doing everything I can. I love the doctor's, like, attitude. So funny. Find out what it means to me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'd throw up too. <laughs> I'm scared. I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. Too bad. Dr. Rumnak. Well, to be honest, I've never been so scared. At least I have a husband. Oh <gasps> my gosh. <laughs> you have to decide. Stay in formation. Target's just ahead. Oh. Target should be near. <laughs> the visions. You have to decide. What you is happening? These are all the first inventions of airplanes. <laughs> Ted, what went wrong? The oil pressure. I forgot to check the oil pressure. When Kramer hears about this, the ship's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> I've always wanted to see that actually happen for real. <laughs> I can't take the pressure. I was crazy to think I could land this plane. I'd be better off with someone who'd never flown before. Bad news. The fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. What the heck? <laughs> what is wrong with... Oh, that's right. He has a drinking problem. <laughs> I love that they're consistent with the jokes. <laughs> done the best you could i was in the war myself not a good core this character's so serious the odds were against us up there but we went in anyway captain made the right decision the pilot's name was george zip the last thing he said to me doc he said the crew is up against it brakes are beating the boys tell them to get out there and give it all they've got and win just one zip i don't know where i'll be then doc he said I won't smell too good, that's for sure. <laughs> I knew that this wouldn't be, like, a serious scene. They couldn't have one serious moment. <laughs> I'll take it, Elaine. <laughs> Suddenly got all his confidence back. I'm giving the orders and we're coming in. <laughs> I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? <laughs> wait, wait. We're going to the tower. The tower! The tower! Rapunzel! Rapunzel! This guy is so odd. How soon do we land? Oh, it won't be long now. Try not to worry. <laughs> Why are they watching that on the screen? <laughs> Your husband and the others are alive, but unconscious. Just like Gerald Ford. Where did you get that dress? It's awful. And those shoes and that coat. Jeez. <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? What the Air heck is Israel. going on here? What? No. That is terrible. <laughs> and when I give the word, pull the cord on the right side flat. <laughs> Aren't those for like, if you're landing over water? <laughs> that was, that was good. That was a good touch. 
the way it just cut out. Striker, the passengers are ready. Thanks, Brandy. I'm very proud. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe we ought to turn on the searchlights now. Oh. That's just what they'll be expecting us to do. That doesn't... <laughs> Gosh. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Thanks, no pressure. <laughs> Fast, use your emergency brakes. Red handles right in front of you. The way, the way she keeps holding him. <laughs> what is she doing? You should be able to see the field now. Sure is quiet out there. Uh, too quiet. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Too quiet. Uh, like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Oh my gosh, how many things is this guy gonna relapse? There it is. Below 700 now, still going down. 375. The washing machine. Sound your alarm bell now. All right now, everybody, get the crash position. No, that's not what. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is so random, man. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. He's <laughs> coming right at us. Oh my God. What the hell, dude? All the red handle. There's a. Br oh no. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! <laughs> He's like an NPC. Why is he sweating so much? Dude, he can't even see anymore. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good scream. <laughs> I just want to tell you. Oh my god! We're all counting on <laughs> this guy. Oh man. We're okay. Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. Some of us here, particularly me, would like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. <laughs> Ted, I just want you to know that when the going got rough. I love how dramatic it is one second and then the next second there's some stupid joke. Thank you for flying Trans Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's still going? It's like to fall in the mud and get kicked in the head. It's like all these pilots are like tell these long stories. <laughs> what? Uh, what? How? <laughs> they had a female co-pilot. Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused, man. What was that? <laughs> I have a headache. Like, it was a great movie, but like, just the amount of jokes there was in that. Just every several seconds was some stupid joke. It's hilarious because you can like, in movies like that, you've got such a huge budget that you can invest in like, you know, you might have like some really silly dad joke, like something that your dad would just come up with on the spot and it'd just be like, you know, the kind of joke where you just roll your eyes, like, oh my gosh. But then they spend so much money investing it in like a scene and making it like actually happen. Like when shit hits the fan <laughs> and they actually have shit <laughs> hit a fan. It's just like, it's great that you can just watch a movie like that that just has so many so many jokes like that but like it they go so quickly that you don't have get time to process how silly the last joke was because there's a new one that's making you laugh already yeah no there were some pretty sketchy jokes in there though <laughs> there was sometimes i'm like oh like i just wanted to like allow myself to just laugh even at the ones that were like kind of wrong if you know what i mean like some things that that might have been like insensitive to some people i just allowed myself to like laugh at anyway because i think that's the intention the whole point is to make you laugh right like there is no ill um meaning in it at all you know what i mean great movie very silly very quick and there was like barely a premise hey like they literally just jump on a plane and then there's a bunch of random issues that just keep coming up and they just they present new jokes every couple seconds that is this movie you're not meant to think about it too much just like 
yeah anyway i had a really good time i hope you guys did too if you haven't already please like and subscribe check out my reddit discord and instagram and i will see you all next time stay cozy